know this young fighter making the walk here tonight, and he's a very entertaining fighter. He's very adept at staying in the pocket while avoiding significant damage coming back. Certainly, he's made a career of frustrating opponents, stays relaxed in there, leans on the defense, and uses that defensive movement to set up his own offense. You'll see him move that head off of the center line, counter beautifully, really more of a counter striker offensively. But his defense will wow you, even when the opposition feels like they have him in range. More often than not, they miss and land less than 25% of their significant strike attempts. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting the takedown right away. Our tale of the day for this welterweight fight. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Russell. All right, Herb Dean, our referee Ready. for this one, just about Ready. to get underway. Good. All right, here we are inside the home of the New York Knicks. It is Madison Square Garden, and I think a lot of people remember when Conor McGregor and Eddie Alvarez ushered in this building as far as the UFC is concerned back in 2016. I mean, that place was insane when Conor McGregor became the UFC's double champion. From outside the arena, to up to the fight, to end the arena when Conor became the king. This was a great moment in the world's greatest arena. Look. The best fights in history have happened here. And on that night, Conor McGregor etched his name in stone. Oh, doing work with the jab. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Another one. All right, so a little bit of a pedestrian start to this fight about a minute in. Not much action on either side. Is that a feeling out process? What do you see? John, you just woke me up. Uh -huh. It's boring in here. Come on, get to work. Press the button. All those buttons. Bang on them and start creating some action. Lee circling to his right. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Lee gets tattooed by that straight punch. Over and over, this guy's getting hit right in his face. Nice kick landed there by Lee. The overhead straight punch. Straight right hand, no good. Three minutes to go here, round one. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. All 
All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Misses with the left hook. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Back and forth we go. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. He's taking too many of the shots at top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting, he's being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. Oh, big head kick there! Big head kick. Take a deep breath. 90 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, nice kick. Straight right hand now, just misses. A oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Put him right down the middle there. Whiffs on the right hand. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Looking to establish the jab here, nicely done by Lee. Oh, that was beautiful. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. All right, well, you can still attack the thigh, right? We talk so much about calf kicks, but that's been a pretty effective weapon for him here tonight. It's traditional. It's a traditional leg kick. Just throwing your hip, bang, whipping it into the thigh. Beautifully done by this fighter. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, beautiful kick to the head. Oh, good block there. Oh, Superman punch. Lands oh, another God. strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swell. He can't miss it. Eh? And when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that. And while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's going to find himself in a dire situation. All right, let us get to some replays after that round. And he is definitely dealing with a damaged nose now. We'll see if we can isolate the strike that caused the damage. Yeah, and there it is, right? It was this one right here that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's not a bad cut. The nose isn't demolished right. yet, but if he keeps right. hit getting hit there, right. it will be. And then everything becomes very difficult. So what he's got to do is he's got to move. He's got to be smarter in his approach in this next round. He didn't seem all that phased on the stool. The cut man has stopped the bleeding for now, but we will continue to keep an eye on this developing storyline here as this fight continues. Low kick lands flush. effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 27 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon Lee. 
So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. More often than not, he has had an answer for all styles. Bruce Lee with authority is your winner here tonight.